Yeah, I, mean, I think Broken Blade is looking at a role swap next year. <laughs> we always see mid laners on G2 go to AD carry. Now it's time for the top laners to start moving down there. Khan's going to come back, play top lane for G2. Up EQ, just a little bit short. The counter barrage coming in as well. Do they know that Yankos is in the area? They do now as the wind becomes lightning. Finn, though, still on the chase. A parlay, not quite enough damage on the trial fight by fire. Will not tick down Broken Blade. Caps on the way up. Marcoon and Finn on the way back to the fountain, it seems. Quick double kill over to G2. Lickety split, but Patrick's gonna get slowed here. Actually, dodges away from the glute glance. Tidal wave being used. Yankos waiting his time, and there's a super mega kill rocket from Flackard as he picks up his first kill in the LEC. Caps able to jump away. Marcoon able to escape. Oh, Patrick, Patrick actually in trouble. not in a good situation here as the package comes out. Exhaust. Caps over the wall. There's the shutdown as Flackard secures. The Caps gonna try and jump away, but he's already dead as well. And G2 are just collapsing in here. Finn and Nuke Duck, the sole two survivors of a catastrophe in the blue side jungle. Yankos will chase Nuke Duck down. The shutdown goes over to Broken Blade. Don't and Nuke Duck can me. only stand and watch, dismayed as Excel collapses around him. 5,000 on the Elder. Marku back to full HP. Advian and Nuke Duck. They're going to burn it. They're going to burn it as well. They're going to try and burn it down. And it's Yankos who secures it. Now the grass down onto Yankos. He's going to pop the soul watch. Finn forced up towards the top side. Flacker now can step forward. And that's the jinx I saw in Arcane as he helps the double kill for Broken Blade. Nuke Duck forced away, Patrick the same. And this should be a wipe here for G2 as they clean up XL in the bottom lane. 43 kills in 41 minutes. G2 will now knock on the Nexus Towers. And what a performance from both teams as you say, Betty. What a way to kick off the LEC 2022 for both of them. XL coming to party, but G2 came for the win. And they will take down XL in an incredible game. Elise Sin now coming in for Yankos. Had a pretty good performance yesterday. See if he can replicate that now here on the Blind Monk. Ooh, Ooh. Seraphine Pike, baby. Targa must pike. I've seen it in the URLs last year. It is a force to be reckoned with. Must be one sad boy. He was so close to so Ooh. many resets. But while all this is happening, Astros Yankos. feels like they're forced to try and take this tower. But it's Yankos from behind manages to find the kill. There is a Herald crashing on the top side. Caps finds two towers. They finally kill Caps. Broken Blade takes down bot tier one. And now, well, Dave is pretty confident here. Yankos is now coming in over the wall, and the Aurelia has to run, but Zanzara is now pushing forward. White Knight is here as well. Astros, can they finally get ahead of the clock with this play? Deor a little bit low. Hang on, Sekiel wants to get something oh, done. The Yankos Q goes wide from Yankos. Deor forcing the flash out from Yankos. The lockdown comes through as well. G2 losing so many on that bot lane. White Knight needs to cancel Broken Blade's TP. I think he's going to be able to drop it in now. White Knight didn't keep track of him, so now he has to run all the way there. Can Broken Blade, Targamas, and Flackett, the new members of G2, stop Astralis from getting 7K. this Baron? They all get hooked. The ulti, where is it going to go? Day Order in the midst of the entire team. They're buying time, but Astralis is pulled away oh, from the Baron. Oh, Targamas is found oh. for the kill. Now it's Kabe locked up, and there goes the Graves damage. Kabe running for the hills, but the shotgun will finish the job. Looks like he's going to get caught out here on the sideline. Kabe can lock him what down. Well, has more than enough damage. Clean pillar now coming in. It's going to be a split fight. Broken Blade trying to survive as long as he can. Dashes over the wall, running through the Drake. Zanzara, no flash to get over the wall. There's nothing he can do. Broken Blade going over the wall anyway. He's not worried about the cooldown timers. He's just trying to kill everybody. Baron already down. Zanzara. Are running for the hills, but the shotgun to the back will be more than enough. Promise you goes in for the hook, buys his team a little bit of space, but it is G2 absolutely destroying Astralis on the back of a single blue ward. Runs for an AoE team fight, but if someone gets on top of him, it's going to be a difficult one for sure. Alti now going oh. in, they're trying to burn him down. Aphelios, 200 years, not nearly enough. Alti now coming in though for Astralis. Yanko should get taken down by White Knight. Goes Golden. Zanzar coming into the area, but G2, Broken Blade's still alive. He's still full health, and it's all too easy. G2 taking down Astralis. Avengerang? <laughs> okay. Okay. I've had that one for way too long. Yankos will win the smite fight over Elioya. Gets the spectral more, and Elioya might have to flash away. Yankos could look for the flash order. Elioya flashes first. Ooh, hits him with the BM. And I mean, he's, he's just gonna, gonna walk, walk through across. the towers. That is two tower shots. Cam's getting out of the back in night, going strong. down, flashes away. No, from the EQ no, combo. No, 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 no. though. Yeah, you got nowhere to go. That cat's been put down. It's both junglers dead. Flacker going in in 27 minutes. 
will take down G2 and they continue to be a thorn in G2's side. The Nexus Towers will fall. The final chapter will be exactly that for Targamus. He's knocked up and he's down. Say goodbye, G2. Matt Lyons have come to play.